Blog Talk Radio. You're listening to When Christians Speak Online Talk Radio, broadcasting out of the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. Today's voice crying out in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. When Christians Speak is dedicated to lifting up the name of Christ Jesus and spreading the good news. So it's my brother, can you spare a dime? My God shall supply my need. Don't have to take because I am a seed. Because every good and all right. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Welcome to the broadcast. This is When Christians Speak Talk Radio Network. Amen. And today's segment is Friday Night Joy. Amen. I'm Reverend Ray. I'm so excited to be with you. We're going to not be before you long. This is going to be so, really it's all about a very short um, topic. Actually, we're not talking. We're going to pray. Um, I was looking um, um, through some things, some notes and papers that I had, and I found this prayer um, that I used to pray like almost every day. So actually, I started it back up. Amen. It's called the Warfare Prayer, and I uh, this was part of a ministry um, when I was at the Tree of Life Christian Ministries, where in Clinton, Maryland, with the pastors there, uh, Pastor um, James Robinson and, and co-pastor Marsha Robinson, and they had an intercessory team, and this was a part of the warfare prayer. And the warfare prayer is amazing. I mean, it has everything in it. Actually, we're going to probably do two. We're going to probably do the warfare prayer, and we're going to probably do the Ephesians prayer. So there's two different prayers. But the warfare prayer is is um is based off of scriptures and everything, man. This is an exciting prayer. And um, there was a time that I was, like I said, I was praying praying this on like almost every day, amen. And I'm I just happened to go through it finally, and said I want to do it all over again. And I want, you know, what I was doing in the past is I would pray this uh, this type of prayer. You would pray in the mon- in the morning for covering. Not just over for you, but also for your kids, and you also will pray um, also at night. So I want to encourage you to feel free to to, um, to share this particular broadcast, Amen, and um, download it and and use this, Amen. Uh, but before we do all that, um, I do want to remind you everybody about uh, His abounding grace uh, with Minister Justin Williams is every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Declaring the finish work, Reverend Pat Randall is Thursday at 12 noon. Um, call today is Friday Night Joy, and that's me, Reverend Ray, and Bread of Life is me, amen. Um, this coming Sunday, um, Reverend, um, Reverend Robin will be back with me. We will continue to talk about spiritual gifts, so we do that. But also on this coming Monday, the first Monday of the month, Lifeline with Apostle Shirley Jones will take do uh, her broadcast at 7 p.m. Amen. And also, challenge to change with Pastor Mark, Paul Mark is every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Amen. The bold and beautiful Reverend Novena Reed, Reverend Curtis Austin, and Minister Jordana Cunningham is every second Saturday at 10 a.m. Adoration with Evangelist Lucas Lewis and McElwain is every third Monday of the month. Marriage Takeo, the body of one Reverend Eric and Reverend Tamika Thompson is every third Sunday at 7 p.m. Hour three, real life, real men, real talk with myself, Ray Rose, Elston Green, Cleophus Malone, and Antonio Mitchell. It's every third Sunday at 7 p.m. Our weekly prayer, uh, midday glory prayer with Reverend Gwen Dixon is every Wednesday at 1 p.m. The dialing number is 641-715-358. That says code. Is seven three two four nine nine. It is every Wednesday with Reverend Gwen. Amen. So with all of that being said, I do want to encourage you to go check out the website. We're in the, in the process of doing some kind of do some update and uh, make make sure the information that we have on is secure. We do have it's a secured website, but we try to even take it a little bit further. So we need your help. So what am I doing? I'm asking for your donations so that I can get this thing done and I can be make sure we're not being hacked. 
Yeah, people hack our websites too. So Christian websites too. So to make sure that we're not being hacked or anything like that. Okay. Um, you can help and assist us by going to whenchristianspeak.com and click it on the donate now button and click it on the PayPal link. Also, um, you can donate through your a cash app, amen, that you can download to your phone. And the house is, is dollar sign when Christians, all one word. Um, if if you have a problem doing PayPal, you can always go uh, directly to PayPal and type in when Christians speak, amen, we will pop up there. So we need your help. We want to make sure that everything that we're doing is in is in order, and we definitely want to make sure that we are secure, amen. I mean, we don't share your information and nothing like that. I mean, nothing. Everything that we have go to an offsite anyway with, through PayPal, which is more secure. But what we want to do is that we want to offer things to to you as a listener, that so that you'll be blessed, like no matter what it may be, be uh, maybe some some some. Um, a series or whatever. So we want to be able to offer that to you. And that's what we would do. Amen. Amen. So let's go ahead and have a word of prayer. And let's get it. <laughs> let's start off with a word of prayer. And then uh, we're going to go, go directly into the warfare prayer. Amen. Father God, we just want to come and say thank you. Thank you for the day. But truly, this is the day that you have made. God, we celebrate you. We love you. We need you. We praise you. We worship you, God. We give it all over to you and say, come, Holy Spirit, and have your way in our life. Break down every idol and cast out every foe, God. Cause us to worship you and to serve it. Cause us to see the truth, Lord Jesus, that there is none like you in all the earth, God. And we want to be able to give you all the glory, Lord Jesus. We want our praise and our worship, God, to be pure and holy. We want it to be with smell good to you. We want a sweet aroma of praise to you, God. So we give this broadcast to you, God. We pray that it will touch men and women, wherever they may be, whatever country they may be, God, and we begin to prick them with the heart and remind them of the time and the season that we're living in, that you are soon to come. You are soon to come back, Lord Jesus, and we need to be ready, God. We pray that it will begin to prick the hearts of men and women, that somebody even might cry out, what must I do to be saved? What must I do to change my life around? We pray today, God, that this broadcast, not because of me or the prayer or anything like that, God, but it begin to heal and it begin to deliver and begin to restore and begin, God, to mend and begin, God, to to, to bring back um, to remember us, God. We begin, Lord, to do whatever is necessary within the body in Christ, whatever is necessary in the world, God. So those they, they might know that there is a bomb in Gilead, Jesus, and you are that bear, that bomb. We're praying today, God, that you would do this truly by your might, God, that you would get all the glory, God. And now, God, we pray the warfare prayer. It says, Heavenly Father, I bow in worship and praise before you. I cover myself with the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ as my protection during this time of prayer. I surrender myself completely and unreservedly in every area of my life to you. I do take a stand against the working of Satan that would hinder me in this time of prayer. And I address myself only to the true and the living God and with any environment of Satan in prayer. Satan, I command you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to leave my presence with all your demons. I bring the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ between us. Heavenly Father, I worship you and give you praise. I recognize that you are worthy, worth, worthy, worthy, worthy to receive all glory and honor and praise. I renew my allegiance to you and pray that the blessed Holy Spirit will enable me in this time of prayer. I am thankful, Heavenly Father, that you have loved me from past eternity, that you sent the Lord Jesus Christ into the world to die as my substitute, that I will be redeemed. I am thankful that the Lord Jesus Christ came as my representative and that through him you have completely forgiven me. You have given me eternal life. You have given me the perfect righteousness of the Lord Jesus Christ, so now I am justified. I am thankful that in him you have made me complete. You have offered yourself to to me to be my daily help and strength. Heavenly Father, come and open my eyes that I might see how great you are. 
and how complete your provision is for this new day. I do, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, take my place with Christ in the heavenlies and with all principalities and powers under my feet. I am thankful for the victory of the Lord Jesus Christ and won for me on the cross, and that his resurrection has been given to me, that I am seated with Lord Jesus Christ in the heavenlies. Therefore, I declare that all principalities, powers, and wicked spirits are subject to me in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I am thankful for the armor that you have provided. While I put on the girdle of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the sandals of peace, the helmet of salvation, and I lift up the shield of faith, shield of faith against all the fiery darts of, the, um, of their enemy, and take in my hand the sword of the spirit, the word of God, and use your word against all the forces of evil in my life. I put on this armor and live and pray in complete dependence upon you, blessed Holy Spirit. I am grateful, Heavenly Father, that the Lord Jesus Christ spoiled all principalities and powers and made a show of them openly and triumphant over them in himself. I claim all that victory for my life today. I reject out of my life all the insinuation, the accusation, and the temptations of Satan. I affirm that the word of God is true, and I choose to live today in the light of God's word. I choose, Heavenly Father, to live in obedience to you and in fellowship with you. Open my eyes and show me the areas of my life that I do not please you. Work in my life so that may, there may, may not be no ground to give Satan a foothold, a foothold against me. Show me, er, me any areas of weakness. Show me any area of my life that I must deal with so I will please you. I do in every way stand for you and administer the Holy Spirit in my life. By faith and dependence upon you, I put off the old self and stand in all the victory of the crucifixion where the Lord Jesus Christ provided cleansing from the old nature. I put on the new man, new man and stand into all the victory of the resurrection and provision he has made for me to live above sin. Therefore, this day, I put up the old nature with his selfishness. I put on the new, I put on the new nature with his love. I put off the old nature with his fear. I put on a new nature with his courage. I put off the old nature with his weakness. I put on a new nature with his strength. I put off today the old nature with all this deceitful lust, and put no new na- and, I, and put no new nature with all this rightness. And put oops, let me read it again. And I put on the new nature with all of his righteousness and purity. I do in every way stand in the victory and the ascension and the glorification of the Son of God, where all principalities and powers were made subject to him. I claim my place in Christ, victorious with, victorious with him over the enemies of my soul. Blessed Holy Spirit, I pray that you will fill me. Come into my life, break down every idol, and cast out every foe. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for the expression of your wish for my dead life. As you have shown me in your word, I therefore claim all the will of God for today. I am thankful that you have blessed me with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. I am thankful that you have begotten me into a living hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. I am thankful that you have made provisions of today, God. I can live fear with the Spirit of God and under the influence of the fruits of the Spirit in my life. I recognize that this is your will for me, and therefore reject and resist all the endeavors of Satan and his demon to rob me of the will of God. I, I refuse to believe my feelings. I, be, I hold up the seal of faith against this, all the insinuation that Satan will put in my mind. I claim the willness, the, claim the fullness of the will and the purpose and the plan of God for today. I do, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, complete, completely surrender myself in you. Heavenly Father, as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, I choose not to be conformed to this world. I choose to be transformed by the renewing of my mind. I pray that you will show me your will, enable me to walk in the fullness of the will of God today. I am thankful, Heavenly Father, that the weapons of our, con- our warfare are not carnal. For mighty through, the, through God to the pulling down of strongholds, to the cast down of imagination, to every high thing that exalts against the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, in my own life today, 
I tear down the strongholds of Satan against my mind. Heavenly Father, I give my mind to you. Heavenly Father, I affirm that you have not given me a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. Therefore, I claim that I have the mind of Christ. Thank you, blessed Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, I pray that now through this day, you will quicken me. Show me the way that Satan is hindering and tempting and lying and counterfeiting, counterfeiting and distorting the truth in my life. Enable me to be aggressive in prayer. Enable me to be aggressive mentally and to think your thoughts after you and to give you my right, your rightful place in my life. Again, I now cover myself with the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ and pray that you, blessed Holy Spirit, will bring all the work of the crucifixion, all the work work of the resurrection, all the work of the glorification, all the work of Pentecost into my life today. I surrender to you. I refuse to be discouraged. You are the God of hope. You have proven you, your power by resurrecting Jesus Christ from the dead, and I claim in every way your victory over all satanic forces. I reject these, these forces. I pray this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. With thanksgiving, amen and amen and amen. Amen. The Ephesians prayer. Heavenly Father, I pray that the God of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto me the spirit of wisdom and the revelation and the knowledge of him, the eyes of understanding being enlightened, that I might know what is the hope of your calling and know the riches of the glory of your inheritance in these things, and what is the exceeding greatness of your power to us with who believe, according to the working of your mighty power when you wrought in Christ, which you wrought in Christ. When you raised him from the dead and set him on your own right hand in the heavenly places, far above every principality, power, and might, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come, and have put all things under his feet, and gave him to be the head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him that filleth all in all. For this cause, God, I bow my knees unto the Father, my Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that you will grant me according to your riches of your of your glory, to be strengthened with, with might by your spirit in my inner man, that Christ may dwell in my heart by faith, that I, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints, what is the breadth and the length and the depth and the height to know the love of Christ, which passes the passes knowledge that I might be filled with the fullness of God. Now unto him who is able to do a ceiling abundant abundantly above all that I ask or think, according to the power that worketh in him, in me. Him be glory to the church by Christ Jesus through all, all ages, world without end. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen and amen. And that's basically if That is the warfare prayer. That is the Ephesian prayer. I told you it's going to be short, but I just wanted to, to share that with you. I'm on a, a mission to get back into this prayer and to pray this prayer. I mean, then of course you desire to really get to a sense, but, but to do this on a regular basis, man, and, and to spend some more time um, on my face before God, and I want to encourage you, no matter where you are, to do the same thing, too. I mean, listen to this broadcast over and over again. Download it if you can and everything like that, and let's move forward then because I know that God has desire for his people to, to intercede. We're in a warfare, whether you like it or not. Okay, the enemy is going around like a raging lion. He's roaring and he's raging and everything. And he's definitely trying to seek whom he can devour. He doesn't care whether you're rich or you're poor, you're black or you're white, where you speak, what language you speak, and then where you come from. You know, he don't care about none of those things. If you are a, a believer in Christ, you are in a warfare. And if you are not a believer in Christ, you are in a warfare and just don't know it. So I want to encourage you to put on the whole armor of God today and know that God is with you. It is time out by just having church in general and just going to church and dancing and everything. But we go home because we don't have no God that's requiring us to get the power so that we be able to thwart or to, to destroy the power. 
the enemy when he comes to us, to be able to have, get the power, y'all, to be able to stand when the enemy comes against us like a flood, that we be able to, and he is requiring us to do this. The enemy is in a place where he is taking no prisoners. And if he's taking no prisoners, well, our, our thing is and our place is to make sure that our relationship with Jesus Christ is strong and mighty, that we begin to depend more on him and less on, our, on ourselves. It's not about what kind of title you have in front of your name and everything, but it's about your lifestyle. It's about having an intimate relationship with Jesus Christ to the point that you're willing to serve him. You're willing to be obedient to him. You know, you're willing to love on him the way that he loved on you, enough to be willing to die for you. I'm putting out a, a, a mandate, a crying out right now to all across the world. For those that are under the sound of my voice, to begin to seek Jesus. Don't worry about what's going on in the world. The world is going to take care of itself. There's going to be rumors of wars and, and, and earthquakes in divers places. There's going to be all kind of flooding and all this kind of stuff is still going forth. In fact, if they have anything they have begun to intensify. It has intensified because the, the love of men have, has, 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 is no longer um, strong like it used to be. Men now become become more lovers of themselves. Not everybody, but most men have be- and women have become more lovers of flesh things and not the things of God. They are beginning to turn away from the things of God and turn to the to the things of the world. Even within the body of Christ, we are those. Some of us in in, in, the, in the within the even in the body of Christ have done things, Amen. That has been a turn off, you know, to, to the to the world. We are doing things and everything, and we are picking and choosing what laws are good and what laws are bad. We are picking, oh, because you're homosexual, now, then I want to make sure that this is done. To me. But what about the other laws? There are over 600 and something orders in the Bible of do's and don'ts. And the Bible says if you, 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 you mess up on one or you don't obey one, or you or commit one, you might as well you you you, you, you committed them all because there's no difference within the sin. There's no big sin or little sin. So why am I saying all this to you right now? I'm saying that even within the body, y'all, we have gotten to a place that some of us begin to think that we are holier than now. Some of us got into a place that we are self righteous and everything. But there is no other righteous that we should know about except for the righteousness of Jesus Christ. That all the laws and all our uh, statutes and all uh, um, religious spirits and things that we do don't really have any power. If Jesus Christ is not involved in everything, we are wasting our time. I'm telling you that this, I would rather be a, a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord and did not know him personally. I don't know about you, but my, it's time that the warfare be serious right now. Our warfare and our life has to be serious. Souls are, ours, are at, stake, at stake. So I'm calling all intercessors. I'm calling all prayer warriors. I'm calling on all apostles and all bishops. And, and I'm calling on those that are elders. And I'm calling on the lay. I'm calling on the musicians to take this time seriously about the time and the season that we live in right now. Don't judge somebody for what they, they uh, you think that they're doing. Amen. Don't judge somebody for one thing they're doing, but then you turn around and doing something entirely different that's just as wrong. It's time out for that. You know, the Bible said that we should seek God. You know, it says that holiness will have no man to please the Lord. I don't know about you, but I want to please God. You know, I want to get to the point in my life of freedom that my faith and my belief and my joy and my strength is well known in him. That I'm not trusting anything anybody said, but I'm believing in Jesus. I don't want to be the type of person that look at you and judge you for for what you just did, but I got a big Oh, moat inside of my eye. But I want to get to a place that I'm in warfare, not only for myself, but also for you. Amen. That God may deliver us out of our predicament. He may deliver us out of our things that have caused us to fall. For the Bible truly says, all have fallen and many have fallen short of the glory of God. I don't know about you, that I have fallen short of the glory of God. And my task today is to get on 
right track with him. And the only that way that that's possible is if I begin to spend more time with him. If I begin to have an intimate relationship with him. If I begin to have more faith in him. I begin to trust him. I begin to lean on not my understanding, but to lean on him and to let him be God is in my life. I begin to be a witness to him. I begin to be a voice crying out in the wilderness. Prepare he the way of the Lord. I begin to tell everybody wherever I go that Jesus Christ is Lord over all. I begin to sing songs of glory. I begin to worship him in spirit and in truth. I begin to seek him. He said that if I seek him, I will find him. If I knock, the door will be open. So this is a season of warfare that we're in. And it's not over until Jesus comes by. If anything, it's going to intensify. I'm warning you today not not to get lazy about this thing. Not to get lazy and go to the host of church. God, but get to a point that you know, y'all, that Jesus is soon to come, and when He comes back, we want to be in a place where there's oil in our lamp. We want to hear Him say, "Well done." You've been faithful over a few things. Faithful over a few things mean that I didn't always get it right. Faithful over a few things that I might have messed up a couple of times. Faithful over a few things that I was sometimes I might I might have backslided, but I had enough of knowledge and wisdom and love for God to cry and come to to lay my head up against the altar, to grab hold hold of the, the horns of salvation. And to repent quickly like David did, to have a heart like God, and to seek after him. That's what I'm talking about. We are in a warfare today. We are in a warfare. Many God people are dying left and right all across you. Every time, every time you turn on news, somebody, that's this great thing that's taking place. Some people believe in everything that is normal, and I'm here to tell you today it is not norm, normal. It seems as, as if cre- the creation is not only groaning for the return of Jesus Christ, but it's also in a place where it's going to spit us out of the land because we don't know how to take care of the things that God has, has given us to take care of, whether that be your family, wherever, they, you know what they are. So I'm saying to you today, I'm saying to you today, to understand that you're in a warfare, okay? Okay, the Bible says to whom much is given, much is required. You in a warfare, you've been obedient to God. To God, he told, he told, he, he, he told, in the Bible it says that don't be weary in well-doing. Don't be weary. You just keep on keeping on. You keep on trusting God. You keep on believing in God. You keep on holding on to God. Don't let go. You know, there are people uh, uh, come to where a lot of time they are distractions. And distractions, the purpose of a distraction is to distract you away from the things of God and from the plan of God, I mean, no matter what they might be. But we, in the time now, we don't have even time for time to, <laughs> for distractions, y'all. We don't have time for it. Amen. Let's, let me go ahead and get out of here, but I just wanted to share with you, and I pray this message has been a blessing to you. Please don't forget we need your help. We need to make sure our website and all our media sites are secure. Amen. I'm asking, you know, again for your donations. Amen. We are a 501c3 company. We are legit. Amen. Amen. We, you can use this as a write-up on your taxes and everything, but I need your help, and I can't do it by myself. I can't. I mean, I got and surrounded me with some great ministers and elders and pastors and, 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 and reverends and everything, but me personally, when it comes to the business part of it, I can't do it by myself. I need your help today. I'm asking for your help today. I mean, I'm asking for your donations today to go forth with this. Amen. The thing that I like about what we're doing, I was talking to somebody that's from Kenya. All the way in Kenya, they're listening to this broadcast. I mean, I have people in the Philippines and, and people that's in Russia. Yes, Russia. People in China that are listening to this broadcast are being blessed. Through, um, through this network, you know, not because of anything that Ray Rose do it or Pat Randall do it, but because the word of God is being spoken. So I want you to share that. This is important, amen, that you share this, that you sow a seed into this ministry, that you sow a seed into ministry so we can be even before, further into the plans that God has for us. Because I believe that he has great things for us. You know, the thing that I, when I talk to Reverend Pat, the thing that matters the most 
it more than anything, even if one soul is changed, even if one person is encouraged, we have done what we, we're supposed to do. But we're living in a time because we live in this world. We're, we're in this world, but not of this world. We want to make sure all the I's are dotted and all the T's are crossed. Amen. So we want to push even further, you know, with the Spirit of God leading us and guiding us into that place. And we can't do that without you. So this is Reverend Ray. I'm the sign out. I pray that you be blessed. Don't forget, uh, Sunday, I'll, I'll be back here with Reverend Robin White and we'll be talking about spiritual gifts. And on Monday, amen, the first Monday of the month, Lifeline with Apostle Shirley Jones. Amen. So y'all be blessed. Know that I love you. God bless you.